Good morning, people. Okay, so it is day two of the Disneyland vlogs. Uh, it's, I think, 8 a.m. right now. We're going to Goofy's Kitchen for breakfast at 9.20. That should be really fun. So, I think after we eat at Goofy's Kitchen, we'll probably go um, into the parks. I think that's what our game plan is, right, Mother? Yes. Yes, Good. <laughs> Slush Minnie Mouse ears. Look, he's with the little bow and stuff. It's so cute. I got this in Downtown Disney last night at the World of Disney shop, and I also got a new autograph book. The Disneyland Diamond Celebration autograph book. It's pretty cool. It came with four sheets of stickers. I love stickers. Okay, so we just got to Goofy's Kitchen. It took us a little while because of, for some reason the elevators weren't working. Like, cause we're staying on the seventh floor. And so we have to like, there's no way we're going to take the stairs, right? So we had to wait for like 10 minutes for the elevators to start working and we finally get down and then it starts raining. But yeah, we're finally here in the Disneyland Hotel. Um, I don't know if we have to wait in line because my dad said we have reservations. But yeah, we're going to have baby. <laughs> We're here at Goofy's Kitchen and I got to take a picture with Pluto. It's pretty rad. And um, yeah, we're gonna go get our food now. This is what I got. I got a Mickey waffle or a Mickey pancake and a Mickey waffle. Then I got some bacon and some bread and a syrup. And I have milk. I always drink milk with everything. And look, there's one of the chipmunks. I don't know if that's I think that's Dale, right? Because Chip's the one with the red nose. Mm -hmm. The characters just came by a few minutes ago and they were all like dancing around and clapping and stuff. And it was really fun and happy. We just finished eating. I got a little bit more food. I, I got fruit. Where's the cap? Really? Go throw my board. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I got uh, my first autograph from Chip the Chipmunk. And Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse is my Whoa! ultimate favorite, in case you didn't notice. And um, so yeah, we're gonna be heading out here pretty soon, I think. And we'll go to Disneyland and look for my characters to sign. And did you guys know that you can go into any shop on Main Street USA and ask them where the characters are gonna be, and they'll call them up and say, "Hey, where's blah 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 blah, blah gonna be?" And then you can go over there and the characters will be. And so I ne we never knew that until. Um, Joke. We never knew that until uh, the last time we came here, which was three years ago. Uh, all the characters came over to visit. I think the only one that I didn't get to really actually visit was Goofy because he was busy, but that's okay. I'm just so happy I got Minnie's autograph already. Like, she's my favorite character ever. And yeah, I'll see you guys in Disneyland. So, okay, and we had to make a little detour. I mean, like, we had to because. Uh, on our way out from walking out of Goofy's Kitchen, we decided to stop by the gift shop in the Disneyland Hotel to do like lightweight shopping. So I got a pin from my friend Isabel, and um, it's of Ariel, and I because I got it for her because she loves the Little Mermaid, and so um, I really hope she likes it. She probably will, but like you know, gift givers anxiety. Like oh no, will they like their present? I still need to get a little gift. For my other friend Miranda, I also got I also got this little um, plush Minnie Mouse stuffed animal because little traumatizing backstory for you guys. When I was four years old, it was my birthday and we went to Disneyland to celebrate and my dad got me this little um, this little Minnie Mouse like plush toy. And he was like this big and he got it for me, hey Dad. I loved it, but then I lost it in the hotel, and I have been haunted by that ever since. I love that thing, and I lost it. I just saw one in the gift shop, in the gift shop that looked exactly like it, so I decided to buy it, and um, so I bought it, and now I have it, and now I can make up with all that lost time with my new Minnie Mouse plush toy. I'm just doing great with souvenirs right now, like I still have $100 left. Okay, is it me or is that just creepy? 
Like seriously. It's really creepy. Hey Shan. Sorry Tell us that. about your <laughs> mystical hat. She got that at the gift shop. And then look at her giant lanyard. There's my favorite restaurant, the Rainforest Cafe. RC? Yup. Another funny traumatizing backstory at Disneyland. I have hey, a lot of Not right now, maybe later. When I was no, little, no, a lot of these traumatizing stories happened when I was little. When you we went to the Rainforest Star. Cafe because that was our favorite restaurant. And apparently, well, they have animatronic okay. animals in there, which freaked me out. Particularly the gorilla, because of it. <laughs> so that freaked me out. I was like, no, I don't want to be eaten by the gorilla. So I would always like cry whenever oh, we... Look at the parrot. Where? Oh my god! You guys see the parrot? It's pretty. I have to walk and vlog here, and it's way harder than it looks. Pin trading is an art. You have to know. I know, you have to feel the pins. You have to feel the pins. You have to summon your sixth sense, and it will let you know which pins to get. Tinkerbell. The pins I have are Minnie Mouse, another Minnie Mouse because I think I've made it perfectly clear I love Minnie Mouse, um, Piglet, and then I have all the baby Disney princesses like Baby Cinderella, Baby Sleeping Beauty. My personal favorite is Baby Tinkerbell because I, I just loved all the baby princesses. HM. Baby Tinkerbell. What? Oh, okay. Hey. Yes! Okay. Yay! It's finally clearing up. It's nice Mom, and Dalton. sunny. Because I was so worried that it was going to be like pouring rain today, but because of it was raining this morning, like I said earlier, and I was like, oh no, is this going to be just like 2012? Because the last time we came here, it was raining and cold, and it pretty much sucked, but we still had some fun because we were here on New Year's Eve for my sister's birthday. Even though she was sick, we still had a lot of fun at the Mad Hatter's Tea Party watching the ball drop. Build a bear. Build a bear's right there, but you can't see because my sister's head's in the way. Oh well. I love Build a Bear. I found out there was a website for it called buildabear.com and it was really fun and awesome. They had a bunch of games on there and stuff you could play. I was obsessed with the recycling game. If you build a bear fans know what I'm talking about. But for some reason, one day I went to sign in and then it said that they were shutting down the website. I'm like, no, why? It was so fun. Dude, Naples. My life. Minor traumatizing backstory. But you're gonna be hearing a lot about those. That thing used to freak me out. I used to be so like terrified of that. Oh my god, we're going to Disneyland right now. See over there is California Adventure. I don't know if you can see it or not, but they got it all decorated with lights and wreaths and merry stuff. I'm pretty sure that's the monorail right there. I think it's them. Of course they decorated it for Frozen. Why wouldn't they decorate it for Frozen? Because everyone just loves Frozen. I'm probably going to be seeing a lot of little Anna and Elsa's running around. Because literally that's like the third one I've seen today. Here we are in Main Street, USA. There's... Oh my god, look at how tall it is. It's like the one from the Grinch. And hair keeps getting in my eyeballs. It keeps flying in, so it's hard for me to talk because I'm like, yeah. and... See, look at how tall that thing Krilla. is. There's Krilla. Oh, oh, boo. It's not a big line. Uh, yeah, I remember. Didn't she say something to me one time? She was like... She did. I don't she remember. She was talking smack to everyone. <laughs> she does. That was so funny. Hello, a long time ago, one on one of our trips, we were eating with uh, Mickey and friends, and Stitch was there, and I had this little Minnie Mouse baby. You know, they have like those babies with the blankets, and so apparently Stitch walks up to say hi to everybody, and he took my baby, threw it on the ground, and then was like pretending to stomp on it. But it was really funny because he felt bad afterwards, so he like picked it up and was like cradling it. You can guess where we're now entering. To the right. Oh, you're right. You can guess where we're entering now. So are we going right straight to New Orleans? We are Where entering are we? into like, Frontier. Or, or, oh, my bad. That's Adventureland. I always get Frontierland and Adventureland mixed up. Frontierland, I think, has uh, Flash Mountain and all that. Adventureland has like uh, the Jungle Cruise, Indiana Jones, all that stuff. Hey guys. 
like this one. I, I want a baby. I want. I, I want, want another pillow pet, but obviously we're not married yet, and I'm. Dude, dude, these are like the cutest little things ever. I ship it so much. Oh, Cora, look. Ah, they're so cute, dude. I literally love the Lion King. I would, if I could choose. A pillow pet, even though they're like thirty dollars and that's really expensive, so I'm probably not gonna get one. I would choose between Bambi, Pooh Bear, uh, Lady, or Stitch. Those are my all-time favorites. I know. Oh, oh those are the cute games with just names on them. Oh, are these those things that like hook onto your door or something? Oh, they're cute. Lightweight Monster High. Yeah, it's like right? Monster High and Ever After High. But Ever After High is better. Yeah, no. I don't do leopard print. For some reason, it just bothers me. Right? Look, it's a fat zebra! The it's like a zebra ate a zebra. <laughs> I love the giraffe. Boy clothing. Swag. Swag. Mickey has so much swag. I love hats. I love hats. I love every kind of hat. Yes! Hit the quad. No! I just bought a really cute choker necklace. It's like, it's uh, uh, black wiry stuff. And then in the middle of it is a rose charm. And I loved it. It's super simple. It was only for $6. So I got it. And now I only have $94 though. So I gotta be very wise with my money now. We are going to go on the first ride. Okay, first ride. Um, hmm. Well, this isn't live. So it's not like you guys can actually guess. But... I'll let you guys guess anyway while you're watching this, so I'll give you a hint. Hint number one. Okay, they um, want It's a very old ride. It's, it was one of the very first rides made um, in Disneyland, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. So that's the first hint. Second one. Well, she just gave it away. We're going on Haunted Mansion. So, change of plans. We're actually got a fast pass for Haunted Mansion, so we're not going there right now. The first ride we're actually going to go on is Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean. That is like my favorite ride of all time. I love it so much. And um, I'm going to try to film in there with my GoPro because I have the head strap, and since it's a water ride, I have to use the waterproof camera. So, so if I can film in there, then I will. I 
wonder who stole that this one. It's kind of creepy. It's a lot of gold. The Pirates ride was so awesome. I love that ride and I filmed the entire thing on GoPro. So now we're going into the Haunted Mansion. It's gonna be awesome and I'm pretty sure we got a fast pass, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, film in there with the GoPro too. So thank
I filmed Haunted Mansion on the GoPro too. We got stuck for a little bit, so I had to turn it off. But it was so cool and fun, and I love how they combine um, Nightmare Before Christmas into it because it's Christmas time. And now we're going on Splash Mountain. You guys probably don't know this if you haven't seen my 22 Facts About Me video, but I do have a traumatizing backstory on Splash Mountain. But I'm over it now because that happened when I was like eight. So. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm big enough now that I won't fall out and once again I will be using the GoPro because there's going to be a lot of water on this ride so I'm not using this camcorder at all, I'm using the GoPro.
so scared like probably because if I was so young with the traumatizing backstory happened. That was in 2009. So yeah we went on Splash Mountain and I was like screaming at the top of my lungs when we went on the big drop but afterwards I was like cracking up and I got the whole thing on film on the GoPro so that should be fantastic.
And so I think now we're going to either Indiana Jones or Thunder Mountain because Thunder Mountain's over there. Indiana Jones is right over there at the, uh, at the entrance to Adventureland. So either one I'm cool with because I love Thunder Mountain and Indiana Jones. So I'm excited. So right now we're going to go on the Tarzan Street House. I'm not vlogging this though because I want to take a break. But um, I just wanted to say that we are going to get fast passes for Indiana Jones. And then we're going to go look in the shops in New Orleans Square. In New Orleans Square for a little while. Oh my god. <laughs> like an hour because of my feet were killing me and I just had to put the camera down for a little while but uh, literally the Matterhorn I do not remember it going so fast and the rocks being so low that you can hit your head if you don't duck so that's probably why they have the warning safety sign in front of the ride so I just dropped my GoPro that's great but luckily it's fine it's not cracked or anything it just it just felt like meh because I was an idiot and didn't close the back. Haha, <laughs> you stupid. Oh, come on, Matt. This is flour. Put more in flour. Oh, my um, she bought it. It's like a scarf thing. Cora, but more importantly. Does this smell like butt? <laughs> <laughs> She's been doing that the whole time we've been here. So right now we're going over to Frontierland. I think we're going to go on the Winnie the Pooh ride. But I just want to show you guys over there is the Pixie Hollow thing. Where all the fairies from... Pixie Hollow and the Tinkerbell movies are. I love Pixie Hollow, it's awesome. One of our trips we went here, I got a little Rosetta fairy costume. I had the fairy wings and everything. And it was a little small on me, but you know, it fits. Yeah. We're on the Winnie the Pooh ride. This one doesn't need the no. GoPro. See? No. Can I see? No. Can you see it doesn't. Indiana, we're exiting the Indiana Jones ride. 
and it was awesome. It just, I would have filmed it with the GoPro, but the ride's really jerky and I didn't want to risk the head strap falling off, you know what I'm saying? It was light, it was light outside when we came in and now it's like barely light anymore. And it's only like five o'clock. <laughs> well, that's the roof. That's the roof? No. <laughs> Shut up, Dad. So we just got back to the room and we're going to have room service and then we're going to go over to California Adventure for a little bit, just like a sneak peek of for tomorrow. I wanted to film on Jungle Cruise but it was kind of dark and yeah, I didn't really want to because I was tired. But I will film on more rides tomorrow. I'm hoping I can go on like the Peter Pan ride or the Alice in Wonderland ride and film and stuff. This is the end of vlog number two for Disneyland. There will be two more for Saturday and Sunday because there's not going to be one for Monday because that's the day we're leaving and I want to make a vlog for the day we're leaving because that sucks. So yeah, there's only going to be two more Disneyland vlogs. Uh, see you guys tomorrow for Disneyland vlog number three and yeah.